Hello, and it's lovely to see you today. I hope I find you well. And in today's Lightroom Quick Tip, we're going to be looking at the Quick Develop panel within the Library module. So without any further ado, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. Here I am in Lightroom Classic running version 11.5. I'm in the Library module in Grid View with both my side panels open. Now these images are raw images. They were captured when I was on a family holiday in the southwest of England uh, and it's of the West Somerset Railway at Minehead where they have a turntable. And this steam locomotive, I believe, is called the King 6024, I think is the number of it. And it was being turned by hand on the turntable. As they were shot in RAW, they're unprocessed images. And I took them at different exposures um, because they were taken some time ago. They were taken in 2008. So dynamic range on DSLRs wasn't brilliant in those days. And I want to quickly look at those images, but I don't want to go to the develop module. And how we can do that is by looking at the quick develop panel within the library module. Now, if you like this type of content, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you've got a question at any time, leave it in the comments. I will reply at some point. So how do I now get to the quick develop module well firstly you need to activate an image so you click on the actual thumbnail or the preview of the image you can press spacebar to go full screen press G if you want to go back to grid let's take this image here okay so I want to look at this image you can see it's, the train has now been turned I quick tip I is information cycles a three click cycle three keyboard um, file name date and time, sensor size, and then press I again, gives me shutter speed, depth of field, ISO, and uh, lens settings. And you can change that in the uh, view section. So I'm gonna take that away, so press I again, it disappears. And we can see I've got my, virtually my full dynamic range on my histogram, and I haven't blown out my highlights. I could have gone another third of stop, I reckon, of exposure, bring a bit more of the uh, whites back. But if I hit the develop module, uh, sorry, the quick develop module, which is underneath the histogram, just expand this panel. I've got some presets, develop presets, so I can quickly apply those without jumping in the develop module, keyboard shortcut is D, I can choose a preset. So perhaps I've got a preset that I haven't applied on import because you can apply all presets on import, develop presets. I can change my white point, my white balance, and I can do auto tone. Now that auto tone is the same in the develop module, basic panel, auto tone here. But that's two or three clicks away. I can do basic global adjustments in the grid view or in the loop view in the library module so if i hit auto there it will apply the same settings as it would have done but here's the great thing you can apply exposure clarity and vibrance third of a stops or full stops increase or decrease now here's the real bonus if i press g click on the first image click on the last image and press auto I've now done that whole group of images auto what Lightroom thinks it should be and it might give me a good starting point just to see what the images Lightroom thinks should be and you can then review them there's the image now it might not be perfect for your taste but it could be a good starting point. Very, very quickly, I've gone through these images and I've looked at all these images in what Lightroom thinks should be the correct white point, black point, exposure, shadows and highlights, clarity, contrast, etc. Now, if I want to change any one or reset all of them, I can shift, uh, click and shift click, so I've selected all or Command-A, Control-A, and there's a button, Reset All. 
and it takes me back those 29 images back to where I was when I first brought them into Lightroom or any undeveloped and you can do a group of images so if I hold the control or command key down I can independently select images and just apply it to those images command D control D to deselect if I just want to apply clicked on this image shift click on the this image here that's just done a range I can then go auto just on those six images so it's a great way of very quickly reviewing images without leaving the library module now I hope today has been of help to you please if it has subscribe I try most days to put up a quick tip of what I know from 12 13 years of using Lightroom Classic sometimes my quick tips are very short like this sometimes they go on for 20 minutes and I focus on one particular action rather than going through a whole module I focus on one action just like this the quick develop panel now if you've got a question leave it in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can if you've enjoyed today give me a thumbs up and just to the side of me there's now my Lightroom Classic Quick Tips playlist where I've got lots of other videos like this and I regularly add to them. Stay safe, keep taking photos, bye for now.